ever seen someone at the gym standing on a platform that shakes and thought, is this for real? Can standing on a vibration plate actually do anything? We are going to answer that question and more. I've got a banger of an episode for you, my friends. We're not about BS or quick fixes around here. Show me the science. Are you with me? So what the heck is up with these vibrating contraptions? Are they for real? What are they actually doing? Are they about toning your muscles? Or could they be a game changer for your overall health, energy levels, and exercise recovery? How about autoimmune diseases? Can using a vibration plate help with conditions like Hashimoto's, rheumatoid arthritis, or lupus? Stick with me because what I'm about to share might completely change how you think about these vibrating contraptions. Let's break it down. A vibration plate is a platform that sends controlled vibrations throughout your body at specific frequencies. There are three main types, vertical vibration, up and down pulses that work your muscles, side alternating vibration, tilts side to side, firing up your core, and multi-directional vibration, gentle therapeutic pulses that reach deeper. There are a ton of vibration plates on the market, and you know me, friends, I've done extensive research and will reveal which one I recommend later on, so stick around for that. Typically, these plates have programs you can set with different patterns, linear, pulsation, oscillation, and various intensities. There are adjustable speeds and different platform styles and sizes. Some even connect to resistance bands or weights for a different workout experience. So how do you use them? You can stand, sit, or even lie on one, making them super versatile for most individuals. We'll get into who should potentially avoid them in a bit. The more I dove into the research, the more blown away I was. When you are on the vibration plate, your body responds with muscle contractions up to 50 times per second through passive movement. Think about that. Your muscles are getting a workout while you're basically doing nothing. That is what is all over the internet and every other YouTube video about vibration plates. I want to know much more, my friends. Can a vibration plate actually help heal your body from the inside out? Let's dive in. Let me blow your mind for a second. Vibration doesn't just work your muscles. It hacks your nervous system. When you step on that vibration plate, receptors in your skin and joints fire signals to your brain. And guess what happens? Your parasympathetic nervous system kicks in. That's your rest and digest mode. We're all stressed out. Most of us stuck in fight or flight without even knowing it. I can't tell you how many patients and clients tell me they're not stressed out, but their physiological data says otherwise. Their immune system says otherwise. Vibration plates can flip that sympathetic nervous system switch back to calm. The research backs this up. Studies show whole body vibration can dramatically reduce anxiety levels even after just one session. Sharpen your focus and attention. Boost BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, a protein which is essentially like fertilizer for your brain cells. Think about it. When was the last time you truly felt calm? This could be your easiest way back. I've been using my vibration plate for the past three months, and I have to say that one of my favorite uses for it is for my mood. If I ever have racing thoughts, which is in my nature, or if I feel sad or anxious, I get on this thing and it just vibrates away my anxiety and negative thoughts. In my Hashimoto's community, we're all about health and healing, and almost every single person got one of these, and it has been a game changer. We all unanimously agree that it is a mood booster. Are you currently suffering with Hashimoto's? Have you been told there is nothing you can do? Are you tired of the never ending fatigue? Are you ready to overcome the debilitating brain fog, anxiety, joint pain? I created a masterclass where we dive into the underlying root causes of Hashimoto's so we can get you on a different pathway. One that leads to not only improving your symptoms, but transforming your health. For now, I'm offering this masterclass for free because I know how it feels to keep searching for answers and coming up empty-handed. 
If you'd like to gain instant access to this masterclass, comment down below masterclass and I will send you the link. Now back to today's episode. Let's turn our attention to another vitally important topic, fatigue. I'm talking about chronic fatigue that makes getting out of bed feel like climbing Mount Everest. The kind of cellular level exhaustion where your body feels like it's running on fumes no matter how much you sleep. If you're dealing with post-viral fatigue, yes, this is a real thing and impacting so many of us, persistent exhaustion no matter how much rest you get, or you just can't seem to get your energy back, listen up, this may just be the answer you've been looking for. So first, why would a vibration plate be a perfect fit for you if you're exhausted? They do the work for you. If you're flat out exhausted, traditional exercise is likely not gonna be front and center in your mind. But vibration plates create muscle contractions while you just stand there or sit there or lie there. Your body gets the benefits of movement without the energy crash. And we already know that they also boost your mood naturally. Fatigue and depression feed each other in a vicious cycle. Vibration therapy can help break that cycle by stimulating those feel-good hormones. They also fight inflammation at the source. We'll get into that in a minute. I just love science. Many cases of fatigue are driven by inflammation. I would argue, with anyone who's interested in arguing with me, that inflammation is at the root of most chronic health issues. Vibration therapy has been shown to cool down brain inflammation, bump up anti-inflammatory molecules, lower inflammatory cytokines, which if you're anything like me, you're looking for anything and everything to help with that. They get your blood flowing. At around 30 hertz, vibration improves circulation throughout your body. This means more oxygen and nutrients reach your cells and waste gets cleared out faster. When your cells can breathe, you can feel alive again. How about brain fog? Ever feel like the fog is so dense you just can't think straight? Man, I lived in that state for quite some time and it was awful. Vibration therapy has been shown to enhance cognitive function. I am all about my brain functioning at the highest level possible. Some studies even show it reduces fall risks in older adults by improving brain-body connection. This stuff really hypes me up. Okay, you know we're gonna talk about the immune system. Have we met, my friends? Hi, I'm Tara, and the immune system is my love language. We cannot talk about the immune system without talking about our microbiome. The latest research shows that vibration plates actually change your gut microbiome we already know that our microbiome, our gut, is intricately involved in everything. Energy, immune system, even our mood. Studies show that whole body vibration can shift your microbial balance in a positive direction, meaning more of the beneficial species that are linked with better health outcomes. Gut barrier function improvement. Friends, we have barriers for a reason and I am always looking for ways to improve my barrier function. Create a more balanced internal environment. I know this sounds wild, but think about it. Your body isn't a bunch of separate systems. It's all connected, contrary to what conventional medicine often preaches. When we positively influence our gut, we see ripple effects everywhere. This is exactly what we talk about in functional medicine. We're not just treating symptoms, we're addressing the root causes. Do you deal with widespread pain, sensitivity to touch, or feel like your body's overreacting to everything? Vibration therapy might be your new best friend. For many pain conditions, vibration plates have been shown to dramatically improve quality of life, boost brain protective factors, shrink visceral fat, the dangerous kind around your organs, help you sleep better and hurt less, I've seen this firsthand with clients who couldn't exercise because of pain. Vibration gave them a way to move without hurting, and that's priceless. Since we know we're in an inflamed society, could using a vibration plate be a strategy for reducing inflammation? We need to talk about the lymphatic system. This is so underappreciated in conventional medicine. I've literally had numerous patients with persistent swollen lymph nodes told it didn't matter by their practitioners. How the hell does that make any sense? 
The lymphatic system is essentially the garbage disposal system of your body. Your lymphatic system doesn't have its own pump, like your cardiovascular system, as your heart to move the blood throughout your body. The lymphatic system relies on movement. How many of us just sit? I consciously plan my day around movement. I recently bought one of these Pomodoro timers. Well, actually, <laughs> this one. Shout out to Jen who put the idea in my head about this contraption. I have a tendency to just sit and not wanna get up until I'm finished with what I'm doing. Friends, I'm working on a book. Can anyone guess the topic? I'll wait. Seriously, <laughs> it is a book about the immune system, in particular, autoimmune diseases. I am planning for a fall release. I'm compiling a special pre-order list of folks. So if you would like to get on the list, this link is in the show notes. I'm planning on a few bonuses for those on the list, so check it out. Where was I? Oh yeah, the Pomodoro timer. I've been using it not for focusing purposes, which is what I believe most people are using it for. I set it for 20 or 30 minutes, dive into my work without distractions. After the timer goes off, you can look at your phone, walk around, whatever. I'm using it to get me to break away from my work. If I wait until I'm finished to get up from my desk, I'll be sitting there for months. Books take time and I am all about evidence-based research to share. This simple tool has been helping me to balance my sitting and moving time. Being sedentary is a significant risk factor for disease. When we're not twisting, shaking, moving our bodies, things get sluggish. When it gets sluggish, you can experience swelling, poor immune response, and increased inflammation. This is where vibration therapy shines. Low frequency vibration increases blood flow to tissues. The gentle movement creates a pumping action for your lymphatic system. Studies show improved fluid movement throughout the body. Think of it like giving your internal detox system a gentle boost. This matters for everyone. Athletes recovering from intense workouts, people who sit all day, anyone with swelling or puffiness. When we have a healthy lymphatic system, we have better recovery, less swelling, a stronger immune response, reduced inflammation. For those dealing with immune challenges, this lymphatic support can be a critical piece of your healing puzzle. This is an area of recovery I focus strongly on with my autoimmune clients because it can be the difference between healing and progression. We need to remember something very important. Health challenges aren't just about one system. They have everything to do with communication breakdowns between all your body systems. Vibration therapy is powerful because it works on multiple levels at once. It calms your nervous system. It gets your lymphatic system moving. It balances your gut microbiome. It improves circulation and cellular health. It improves brain function and it reduces inflammation. The best part, you don't need to understand all the science. You can just sit, stand or lie on the plate and it does the work for you. Look, I am sold on vibration plates. I feel that is obvious, but we need to talk about contraindications. Not everyone should jump on a vibration plate. You may need to pass if you're pregnant, have a pacemaker, history of seizures, recently broke a bone. Always check with your practitioner to see if it's a good fit. If you're good to go, here's my quick start guide. Start with 30 hertz. You may want to start even lower. Vibration plates may differ with the hertz levels. The one I have ranges from four to 40 hertz. So be sure to check the website and instructions for the one you choose. I do recommend checking this before purchasing because a lot of cheaper vibration plates operate at a very low hertz and may not be multi-directional. So you may be missing out on some of the benefits because of this. Once you have your hertz figured out, start slow. Set it for five minutes and possibly even sit on it rather than standing. Get familiar with how you feel on the plate. The further apart your feet are, the harder it is. So start with your feet closer together. Plan to use it two to three times a week. Just because something may be good for us doesn't necessarily mean we should do it every day. It's important to see how you feel and adapt accordingly. Stay hydrated. This is crucial. When we start shaking things up, literally, we need water to help everything move along. Maybe don't drink the water while on the plate. I don't know. 
you decide. I usually drink water before and after. I didn't mention this earlier, but I'm feeling compelled to bring this up. If you have any constipation, this may be very helpful for you. <laughs> the moving and shaking stirs stuff up. So keep that in mind. You may want to be close to the bathroom. Think about your posture while you're on it. The way you lean or bend your body will affect how your body feels while on it. I love this so much. Experimenting with different stances can be invigorating. Vibration plates can be a helpful tool for anyone struggling with fatigue or low energy, people with poor coordination or lymphatic sluggishness, those dealing with stress, anxiety, or even sleep issues. People who sit too much during the day. Yes, me to a T. Athletes wanting faster recovery. I have noticed a dramatic difference with my recovery since using one. I do my daily workout and then get on the plate for about 10 minutes and it has really helped me to not feel sore. Older folks looking to stay strong and sharp and possibly prevent falls. Anyone wanting to reduce visceral fat and improve their metabolism. If you're dealing with any of these, Vibration could be your missing piece. So after all this research, my experience using one and the results of my patients and clients, are vibration plates worth the hype? If you're just looking for rock hard abs or a quick fix weight loss, probably not. Vibration plates do not replace nutrition, strength training, etc. But if you're serious about supporting your body's natural healing systems, getting your lymph flowing, balancing your gut health, breaking the cycle of stress and inflammation, finding an exercise option that works with your energy levels, then yes, this technology deserves a place in your healing toolkit. I'll put the one I use up on the screen. I'm not sponsored by the way. This is my honest opinion. If you're just listening to the audio, check the show notes. I've got links to all the research I mentioned as well as my vibration plate and my Pomodoro timer. I tried out several and decided on this vibration plate for several reasons. For starters, it has the capability of multi-directional movements and it was a noticeable difference with the other two I tried. I really like the different programmable modes, but I usually set it to the most powerful vibration mode using its 4D technology. But remember to start low and go slow if you're new to this. The one I have did come with a whole bunch of extras, resistance bands, ankle straps, hand straps, workout bands, mini bands, and a cover. Honestly, I tried the other stuff, but usually just stand on it. Something I've really liked doing lately is standing on one foot. Balance is key for longevity and with my immune system issues, it is top priority for me. I have a lot of patients who sit on theirs and read. What a brilliant idea. I usually hop on mine for 10 minutes at a time and watch a YouTube video. Speaking of which, if you enjoyed this episode and found it helpful, please share it with anyone you know who may benefit from this science-backed information. Help me spread the word that we can take back control of our health and not just accept our diagnoses. If you liked this video, you're really gonna like the next one that pops up right here where we do a deep dive on the superfood moringa. The research will blow your mind. I'll see you over there. Bye, friends.